What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the FromTheArtNation.com Back at it again with another video And today we are talking about how to cycle Cauterine and Dust Cauterine aka GW5156 cause cancer Well, the misconceptions on this topic is uh, SARMs are dangerous and cause cancer and you shouldn't use SARMs Well, at first not all SARMs tend to cause cancer, okay? This comes from one particular study actually on one particular compound which is Cauterine GW5156 which is a non-genotoxic PPAR agonist. Now the experiments that were done were done on Windstar rats. The study was done for a period of time of 104 weeks which is two years and at the end of their so-called study they found out that these rats had cancer and that cauterine caused this cancer but why why 104 weeks at dosages of 0.5 up to 40 milligrams a day for 104 weeks i mean running any performance enhancing drugs like that is going to get you complications for sure and then a windstar rat only has a lifespan of two to three years so actually they gave the cauterine at extremely high dosages to these animals for their entire lifespan so is it me or is this shit just stupid to begin with with that being said rats are compared to humans because of their organ structure might be a little similar to humans and it's a little more human ethical for human meant experiments so bottom line if you would take cauterine for let's say eight weeks and maybe even 12 weeks, you won't spontaneously get cancer. I mean, there are literally more foods in this world that could cause you cancer than just taking cauterine for a couple of weeks. Now, how do you cycle cauterine? Just to be safe and sure, and maybe if you're a little afraid, if it will get you cancer or whatever. Now, Dr. Tony Huge himself backed me up on this, and this information is also standing in Sarma's book, uh, on sarmasbook.com, of course. He said, I personally feel comfortable using cauterine five days on, two days off, two weeks on or one uh, week off, and then we have a month on and a week off. Well, personally, I stick with the five days on and the two days off. Um, I still really noticed the insane energy Cotterine gave me. While being out of breath, I still had the feeling like my body wanted to do another set. Just, you know, don't be afraid thinking Cotterine is going to get you killed. Just do it the right way. So the bottom line of this video, Cotterine does not cause cancer. Maybe if you take it for two to three years at extremely high dosages like they, they did on the rats. But I don't think so. Just be safe and do it the right way, guys. That was it for today's topic and video. Thanks a lot for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video. Please go out to FromTheArtNation.com. You can get my coaching programs and everything is available there. Sources, whatever. Go to GetEnhanced.shop by Enhanced Labs and save yourself 10% using the code WHITEBOY10. And that was it for today's video, guys. Thanks a whole lot for watching. Again, like I said, it's the white boy from the From the Yard Nation. I'm out.